Welcome to the World Trumpet TV, a world media ministry called to blow the trumpet, to call the unsaved, unreached millions back to God. In a world so broken, so hurting, and so lost, World Trumpet TV is taking the gospel of the kingdom to the nations, redigging the wells of revival and awakenings in North America, South America, Africa, Europe, and Asia, sounding the trumpet for the children of God to arise for a mighty global move of God. World Trumpet TV is at the center of bringing you God events as they happen worldwide, global evangelization, and international humanitarian social transformation missions in suffering nations. Together with our friends and partners, we believe this new decade will experience the greatest salvation the world has ever seen. Through our 24-7 inspiration programming via cable networks, satellite, smart TV, smart apps, social media, iPads and iPhones, etc., reaching the entire planet. Join the Trumpet TV family in bringing the lost, hurting millions back to God. Welcome to Wild Trumpet Television. Saints, what a joy for us to come back again in your homes each week. It's, you've been, been blessed. We've been getting testimonies upon testimonies about what you, you know, what God's doing in your lives. And today again, I'm blessed of the Lord that we have a wonderful guest that you'll be blessed. Please invite your friends, invite your, uh, you know, parents. And this, the subject matter we're about to talk about is very vital to where we are as a nation. And we have a, a most wonderful, amazing woman of God that God has given this powerful, tr- profound message to bring um, uh, healing and a turnaround. And my guest today in the studio, Wild Trumpet TV, is Emma Bong Smart, a woman of God in this city that God has given. Welcome to Wild Trumpet TV. Thank you. Thank you. It's an honor to be here. I'm so blessed to be here. It's been uh, a time. We were talking a while back, you know, uh, the time that you, God gave you this message, you know, through the book, uh, share with our viewers about this journey that you've traveled in, mm-hmm. in, in this message, the conviction of it, you know, to the battle of Christ. Would you? Oh, absolutely. So um, I feel this whole j- the journey of stay yes. has been one that... Um, it's been a journey of obedience, yeah. first of all. And um, it's, the journey started in 2020. Right. Right at the brink of the lockdown. Yeah. And I'm grateful to God, first of all. I was able to get the book out there before the lockdown. Yes. But the journey started from a, someone really close yeah. to my heart who um, had attempted suicide. The attempted suicide. Yes. Yeah. And that was where God had given that instruction and that passion kind of developed yeah. to address um, suicide. Right. And of course, suicide is such a very, uh, it's so broad. Right. And there's so many, um, so many dimensions to how we can treat suicide. Right. And of course, one person cannot handle every single dimension on, on, taking care of suicide. Right. So the, the part that I was able to grasp by the grace and the spirit of God was the, the God factor. Right. You know, right. how else can we address suicide besides science and medicine and all of that? How else can we address suicide? And that's how Stay got birthed. And the concept of Stay, the book, was answering um, or, or uh, uh, dealing yeah. with the nine... Um, top quest, uh, uh, reasons yes. that I've heard yes. um, that people give themselves in order to commit suicide and just, you know, addressing those lies, yeah. the lies that they believe and right. the truth right. to overcome those lies. Yes. And that was how the journey began. Yes. And yeah, after the end of that, of, of the book, then the next phase came. And to be honest, every other phase was not pre-planned. Right. It just came after this one was complete. God said, "All right, let's move to this to this phase." Yes. And then after this phase was complete, we moved on to the next phase. So, so, so you wrote you. God gives you a message to for the body of Christ for North America for actually the entire world. The entire and, world. The entire yes. world. <laughs> the because entire of world. the epidemic of suicide yes. that's on the high rate all over the world. The numbers cannot be deniable. Every 40 seconds. Every 40 seconds. So while, while we're here, it's happening right it's now. It's happening right Everywhere. now. And, and you write a book with that message to send it out. 
and you entitled the book Stay. Why Stay? Well, <laughs> because you, your life is precious. That's why. You yes. got to stay because God needs you here. People, other people whose destinies are attached to your life, right. they need you to right. stay. Right. Your life is precious. Yes. In spite of what you go through, in spite of what anyone goes through. Right. You know, uh, two, two days ago, my sister called me that um, her fiance, um, well, let me not put it out there, but someone really close yeah. just committed suicide. And, you know, he went through a lot of things and he, he, th he, he thought he couldn't handle it anymore. Right, right. And he committed suicide. So it happened a couple of days ago. Wow. And it's still happening. Wow. So this is a global situation. A, a friend of global, mine, yeah. a friend of mine um, just told me, actually two of them yesterday, that actually their loved one, their close re friends lost their lives too. They committed suicide. And, and the, the news we have out there would have us to believe that it's not a major topic. And yet it is, it's dreadful today to see the alarming numbers, the statistics that are out there today, you know, where the enemy has unleashed hopelessness, pain. That's the word, hopelessness. You know, to come to the end of yourself and, and, and you have nothing left. Through the school system, young girls who have lost they feel like they don't, their identity doesn't matter anymore. They're never appealable to society. So we hear all these stories. But I'm happy to, for us to have this conversation with you because you have this project that got started as a book. And now the Lord has moved you into producing a movie that's about to be launched. Talk about that transition from the book to the movie. Absolutely. <laughs> so... The tr the, we transition from the book to the song, yeah. and of course, the song is the main um, the uh, the main soundtrack for the movie stage. Yes, and it's all it's all a compressed message from the book, Welcome and the the, the movie <laughs> the movie is an is the expanded um, yes. version of the book. Meaning, it's not it's not a fiction book; it's a nonfiction. We're just taking the ideas, right. you know, from the book, and we we put it into the lives of people in the movie. So the mo the idea for the movie actually came, uh, I think, two thousand and uh, two thousand and twenty one. Yeah. I started writing the script yeah. in two thousand and twenty one, and it took me about a couple of months to write it. Yeah, because I have this thing where it's like you know, and they the spirit of the Lord came upon David and he played. You know, I have that thing where I just get into the zone and I can't stop writing right. until I'm done. And right. we did all of that, and somehow. God opened the doors, um, gave me the right, the right resources and gave me the right people. And we were able to, in July of last year, actually, we were able to um, produce the, the, the Stay movie. Yeah. So it's, it's, been, it's been such a great, a great journey. Not been an easy one, but it's been, it's been great. <laughs> it's, it's taken you how many, how many, how long, you know, you know production and... and um... Production, the, the movie took us about two weeks. Yeah. About two weeks to produce. Back to back, we shot. I mean, of course, we left out Sundays because we have to rejuvenate. Yeah. <laughs> but it took us about two weeks to shoot. And, um, of course, the shooting the movie is just the first part. And then there's the other part where we have to ensure that we have quality sound, quality lighting, quality pictures, and all of that. Yeah. So it took about two weeks um, to shoot the whole movie. Yeah. Yeah. What it, you know, I know you, you talk about, um, you know, the next in September. Yes. You know, uh, is the premiere yes. of the movie. Yes. What can uh, people expect, you know, oh. now that you've arrived to this place and you're inviting the entire, the entire world yes. to this project that God has given you? Absolutely. Look, anyone, if you're in Dallas, I mean, if you can fly out of, out of states, that would be totally amazing. But everyone in Dallas, um, I want you all to come out to this premiere because it's not just a premiere for a movie just because, you know, I felt like doing a movie. It's a premiere of a movie that has the potential. I mean, we have track record of lives that the book and the song has changed. Yeah. So this movie is not just about a movie just because, but it's a movie that can actually 
save a life. It can save one more person from committing suicide. And of course, it's going to be a red carpet. It's a movie premiere, so it's going to be a red carpet event. So you're, you're going to get, you know, all glammed up, looking beautiful, looking fabulous. You're going to have an opportunity to connect, come with your loved ones. You never, the thing, the thing about suicide is you never know who is thinking about it. You never know what anyone is going through. And being in that atmosphere, when they come to the premiere and they can see the movie and they can relate to a character in the movie, they can look at someone and say, oh, what's happening to this person in this movie is happening to me. And then they can see the solution that we provide in this movie to combat suicide, suicidal thoughts, whatever it is. So September 3rd is when we're going to premiere the Stay movie. And I'm excited and I hope... You know, all of you can come out and so, come see this movie. <laughs> so you've invited everybody. Yes. Who, you know, you've invited people to come and, and show up to this wonderful, wonderful message. What is, what is the takeaway when people come into, you know, uh, to watch? What do you want them to take back into their cities or states, you know, when the movie Absolutely. They come to watch it? So what, what I want everyone to take back is that we all are responsible for one another. Yeah. Because sometimes we feel like it's going to happen to everybody, but, you know, it, it's not going to happen to me, you right. know. Right, Until something happens and you're like, wow, this can actually happen to me. Yeah. The, the concept of the movie is to show how um, the, the roles of families, of communities, right. of our churches, and of individuals. What role do we have to play? Yeah. I don't want to give the whole the thing away. Right. Come and check it out for yourself. But I want them to leave knowing that I am responsible. Yeah. I have to be able to call someone and check on them. I have to be able to watch and see and be able to notice right. when someone is kind of out of their normal character or out of place right. in their dominion. You know, I, I have a role to play. That's what I want them to take back with them. I know yes. that they are responsible yes. for every other person. We all should be responsible for yes. each other. Yeah. You know, Ibama, we, live in a, we, li we live in a world right now, you know, that we're seeing the narrative that's going on all over the news. We just came out of COVID. Mm. That was the highest pressing trying moment for many people. Uh, mm. You know, the drug ep epidemic rose up almost 100%. Mm. You know, when we thought that the vaccines were curing people, <laughs> the depression and the pain and anger, and uh, it, I mean, it rose to the next level. So people are coming out of COVID realizing they actually picked up more stuff <laughs> <laughs> than what they were trying to save themselves from. Mm. So you come in with a message that allows people to rethink again the value of their life, especially when they have been devastated, you know. Mm. And so that's why I pray that, that what God has given you today is very vital. The message of where somebody has to stop and say, my life is important. It's worth it. My life is important because it was created not by the systems that be. It was created by God. Mm -hmm. Isn't that the message in that? that? Absolutely. You know, the fact that people go through things, the fact that we go through things, it's not an indication to end it all. You know, I like to say because life throws punches at you doesn't yeah. mean that your life means nothing. I always like to ask people, right. you know, I say if you're a thief, you know, and you had the option to steal, right. what would you be looking at? You're going to be looking for the, the house with the biggest house, with yeah. the nice cars, yeah. Yeah. you know, because, you know, there's something of value in there. So the attacks and the challenges and the difficulties in your life is not an indication to end it. Yeah. It's just an indication that you have so much value and worth and the enemy is only trying to do what he likes to do, to kill, to steal, and to destroy. Yes. So you have to come to that place of rea realizing that life is precious. Your life is precious. All, all of our lives are precious. All our lives. So come out knowing that when I go through things, it doesn't matter. But whatever I go through, it's not an indication to end it. Yes. Wonderful. So um, the other question had to do with, you know, the day of uh, your, the premiere. You know, I, I sense there's an aspect where many 
you're calling leaders and pastors and churches. Yes. You know, to, can you break down uh, the messengers of this message? Like this town where we're in has got so many people that have a sense of several different groups of people that help in aspects to, you know, drug addictions and, you know, would you, are you at liberty to invite, you know, those kind of people to be there? Because it almost feels to me that you are passing on uh, a baton of this message so other people can reach others in order to help, you know, send this message all across the United States of America. Mm. For us at World Trumpet TV, we feel, we sense that God is giving us an opportunity to make sure that every home in the United States, you know, at least statistics will give you at least 60% of every home in America has had somebody yep. who has been affected, yep. you know, almost close to that encounter. You know, what's your take on that? On, uh, so talking about how the commu how what I'm what I'm uh, the people I'm reaching out to right. definitely honestly um, I would love 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 to appeal to different communities yeah. um, let's start from our churches because you know sometimes we feel we don't want to talk about these things in church because I don't know most people don't want to identify as someone who is right crazy or like having yeah. some issues yeah. that thing you know things that they, they're having for they don't want to talk about it and because most of the time it's not a topic that we hear on the pulpit yes you know and so people might be down there in the congregation going through different kind of things in their lives and considering contemplating things in their lives that right. they can't talk about right. because they don't want to perceive it as less spiritual. I mean, we did hear of a pastor who committed suicide, but I guarantee you maybe there wasn't a time when he ever stood up to say, look, you all pray for me. I'm going through things. So I'm amazing. It, I, I want to reach out first of all to our church leaders to um, talk about, to spread the word to your congregation. Let them know. I mean, I'm more than happy to come out to churches yes. and just to tell them what the movie is about. Yes. And for people to know that they have at least a place where they can come learn something. Yeah. And it goes beyond just coming to learn something from this premiere, just a one-time thing. Right. There are other resources. It's called the State Project for right. a reason. Right. We have the book that you can read. You can pass it along to your friends. You can teach it in your youth group, different things. Yes. We have the song you can listen to over and over again. And I've had so many testimonials from the book and from the song, yeah. you know. So I want to reach out to pastors, to different communities who do um, like rehab communities yeah. with people, you know, who are recovering um, from drugs. Well, all kinds of communities out there. I, yes. I can't even name all of them. But I just um, want to appeal to them. Yeah. You can pass the word across. You yes. can pass the word across. And let's give these people um, an opportunity to come and hear something. You know, one of the things... Pastor Mike, one of yeah. the things that when I launched this book, right. one of the person, a friend of mine who came, he said, I launched the book in March, March 7th of 2020. Right. And he said, if you had launched this book earlier in February, right. my friend wouldn't have committed have been, suicide. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So his friend died in February, committed mm. suicide. I launched and he said, if he read the book, he said, if only this thing was done earlier, yeah. my friend would still be alive today. Yes. You know, so it's it's not just about a person. This is not about me. Right. This is about the project. This is about what God can use this thing to do in the lives of other people. Yes. Saints, you're hearing us right here at World Trumpet Television. We're about to go in a few minutes as we continue. We're about to share a little snippet of the trailer of Stay, the movie that's been produced by a wonderful, mighty woman of God, Emma Bong Smart. It's, it's, it's a message that I believe many families across America, not only that, it's statistics out today that even among leaders, even among pastors, mm. there are many of them that are going through, you know, suicidal thoughts. You know, the warfare is overwhelming for the, t for the planet that we're living in. There's, there's birth pangs that are going on. And in the midst of that, society doesn't know what to do. And at once upon a time, God allows something like this to happen. The movie and the book and the song that becomes a solution to give people hope again. That's why we're excited to have her here 
on World Trumpet Television to share this experience so that in the next few weeks you have access to, you know, hundreds and hundreds of people all over the world will have access to watch this movie and they will, they will be blessed. Definitely. You know, and, and so I remember when you were talking just a while ago, you, 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 you even touched on pastors. The last, during two, three, four years, yeah. actually two years ago, two years, yeah. the news was giving us so many pastors. No, yeah. This is not only just young girls, you know, or just uh, teachers or business people who are plunging themselves from the building and say, I'm done. You know, recently we saw beauty, uh, beauty, two beauty, con you know, pigeons. Yeah. You know, you remember that? They just said, I'm done, I'm gone. You know, I, I, I thought I was going to keep my life. They're gone. And, and now pastors. And we, we keep insisting on that because it's very serious. And, and so... You touched on that, and I was rem reminded that it is, it is vital that people have access to what he's given you, you know, you know to produce. Absolutely. Can you elaborate on that before we go into, into the trailer? Talking about, uh, just before I'm getting your question, uh, your uh, question, right, you're talking about the different kinds of groups. People groups that are affected by of this. Of people. I can't think of any people group that hasn't been affected by yes. this. My daughter was, um, last year, when she was nine, she came back home from school, and she told me, Mom, uh, my friend said she wants to go home and stab herself. Wow. She wants to commit suicide because she's been bullied. Wow. So a nine-year-old is already assuming that the solution to her problem is to take her life. It's to end their life. You know, it's not, it's, honestly, it's not that people are weak yeah it's not that they don't it's just that they don't have the inf the information that can turn their paradigm that can bring that paradigm shift right to how they perceive themselves right. and how god perceives them and how they perceive the things that that they go through right so we see pastors people would think pastors got they have to know the word you know they they, exactly. should, they should have scriptures to combat any suicidal thoughts and you think of beauty beauty queens right. i mean social media influencers with millions and millions of, of followers, you would think they should be, I mean, they have every reason to be alive as celebrities and, and fathers, mothers, business people, children. Exactly. Children, you know. So this is, I love the state project because it cuts across every strata. Amen. It cuts across. There's no one that can say, I don't know anyone mm. who has been impacted by this. Yeah. Any strata of life, right. someone has different groups of people they've committed suicide. Y yes. So that's one of the things I love about this project is that it's not limited. And it's not limited, it's not about, a, it's not a religious, um, it's not a church thing, like it's not a religious thing to say, oh, it's only for this group of people. Right. It's for every Everybody. living human being. Yes. Every human being. Yes. And that's why I love this project so much. Amen. Because, yeah, it breaks through every, every strata of life. Wonderful, wonderful. We're excited that the Lord has given you this message for the entire world to redeem the land. Yes. And so we're about to go into what you're about to watch is the Stay the Movie trailer. Take a look at this. Zoe? What? My life is over. What do you mean your life is over? Are you pregnant? Thanks for making me a mother. You are pregnant. I can barely take care of you and you want to add to my burden? When this baby's born, I'm coming for him. Hey, Mom. Hey. This is Ray, the different I was telling you about. Hello, Ray. That's a beautiful name. <laughs> Let the day begin. You look so ugly. No! no! <laughs> Get a hold of yourself. Get a hold of the idea that nobody loves me. Nobody ever will. Who are you? What are you doing here? Stay away from me. I'm... Don't come any closer. You don't have to do it, okay? Jeff, I insist to take her to some form of therapy. Or you may lose her. I'm 19. Pregnant. I don't know who my dad is or whose baby I'm carrying it. And you're talking to me about the future? I want you to know that I'm glad you didn't abort me. Every child is a blessing, you know. We 
Would you cheat on me? What? You sleep with another man? Sometimes. You're sorry? It was your mistake that put me in this mess. You did this to me. But it can also be uplifting and worth living in spite of our bad experiences. I'm just so sorry I didn't protect you and I just want you to know how much I love you. I love you. I love you. Hashtag beauty is not skin. Beauty is within. <laughs> now. And now breathe out. So how about you stay day after day? Because your love is precious. Wow, what a mighty, what a work, what a mighty, Thank you. mighty uh, message that's coming out. <sighs> yes. You know, <laughs> the time that you spent with your team and producers from all walks of life that you, and now we have a message that God has given the body of Christ. Yes, yes. We're yes. looking forward to this wonderful time, you know, what, what message would you look into that camera and from your heart to them to invite people to come out and take this opportunity for mm -hmm. this wonderful, mighty project that God has given, you know? <sighs> well... <laughs> I'm just going to say this. You never know what anyone is going through. Yeah. That's first. And number two, you never know what someone needs just to get them out of that wrong paradigm that right. they have about their lives. Right. And so what I want to say to you is come out September 3rd and be a part of the solution. Come not just by yourself. Come with someone. Come with friends. Come with families. And let's do this together. I may be the visionary, my husband and I, we may be the ones who have done this, yeah. but it's not just up to us. We can't do it alone. We need you to come out. Go to the stayfilm.com. Yes. Get your tickets. You can have your family members, your whole church community, yes. they can get the tickets as well and get ready for an encounter. This is not just a movie, but this is an encounter that has the capacity to change your paradigm, the paradigm of those that you will invite. And you're gonna, you might be amazed that after the movie, someone you thought was okay would tell you, you know what, I'm glad that I came for this premiere because I was thinking something. So please come out. Get your tickets, visit thestayfilm.com, and let's change lives together. Let's stop one more suicide from happening. Remember, thank you for being with us, and we are very delighted that, you know, this message that God has given you is going to be a blessing in millions of homes. Definitely. Through this movie and the book that God, God has given you. We, we don't take it lightly because it's, it's, it is... It's vital, it is serious, it's happening. Every second something happens that takes away a life of someone. Yep. And God has given you a tool in your hand that is a, is a blessing to be a solution. And the reason why you hear me keep on repeating that is that there's no solution to any way you can do it except turning your heart back to the Lord. Yes. <clears throat> Hopelessness has hit our world today because we've been taught by the systems, by the, the systems that be, that we have another alternative. The Bible says that Satan came to kill, steal, and destroy. And we are literally seeing that. He likes to kill, steal life, and destroy life. But Jesus came to give, to give life. And it's that life where this movie comes from. Stay is that very reason why you, whether your family member and you're watching us and your, 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 your daughters, uh, your sons, your teenagers, actually, right now it's not even limited to teenagers. You go back to what you just shared right now, nine years old. I nine, yeah. You know, I remember my son one day, 
uh, he comes from school and he's crying for the first time. He's crying. And I said, Dad, he said to me, Dad, um, you know, somebody bullied me at school and they said something that I didn't want to hear. I've never seen him that affected, you know, since she was born. At the time, I think it was around 10. I'd never seen him. I knew because of his expression, there was something, somebody had really put a, a word knife deep in his soul. And it could be that as a parent, I, I, if, I didn't, if I didn't have God, I wouldn't even know how to pluck it out because it becomes a form of the identity. Yes. It becomes a form of the identity. And they, they feel like the people who say these words, all these voices that come to them, they're the ones that validate how they're going to leave. Wrong. It's not that. So for the first time as a, a parent, I said to myself, how do I respond to this? He's hurt. Do I respond to the parents that did it? Do I respond to the teachers where the situations happened? Or the, those are the five thoughts that parents have to go through because it happens at school, so let's talk to the teachers. Or let's talk to the parents of the person who, who did that. But this kid has already now started to feel that these words are already bombarding, you know, I could literally see he's starting to act that way. And I remember the Spirit of God say to me, before you talk to the teacher or the parents, make sure you unplug hmm. the sword that was planted in him because those people might go away from that school and go live on their life, but whatever has been inched into this man's soul might, even, might be attached to his identity. So I had to sit him down and say to him, do you know you're not what anybody says you are? I said, do you know you know, you were created in the image of God. Do you know that you're so vital to the reason why even that person responded to you the way they did? So he started to receive this truth. And that truth was going to the same place where the wound that could have defined his destiny, you know, and somebody's listening to us right now, that's the same way the enemy tried to push him is to hinge a knife and cause a heart and that heart becomes a deceptive truth that the enemy mm. uses over and over and over. And he keeps pushing it right deep in their soul until they have no hope anymore. Mm. And that's why I'm so happy that God has given you a message that's, that is a truth to bring a healing to the many knives and the pain that's hidden deep within that most people don't even know. I ran into a young lady at the mall a few weeks back. I think I shared that with you. And she was standing looking this way. Beautiful lady. And the Lord said to me, walk up to her and speak to her. And I walked up to her and said, how are you? How was your day? I said, I see you in the valley of decisions right now. You're about to make the worst mistake of your life. You're about to make the worst mistake. As a matter of fact, you don't have to tell me what you're about to do. The Lord showed me that you're about to take your life. She panicked. She said, you don't even know me, but right now I was picking up my daughter and we're going to go to Tulsa, Oklahoma. That's where we're going to go do the suicide. I said, if I had not walked that direction in the mall towards her, it would have been the end of her life. Spontaneously, we walk around people who don't even know. You know that. And so for us to have this, this wonderful movie that you produced, it's an answer that every family, every father, every mother, or the school institutions could take an opportunity to grab yourself. When the movie is finally launched, grab yourself a copy Absolutely. and take it and use it. And let there be a, a revival of life, a revival of men and women that say we're going to stay. Because each one of us has got a purpose. Isn't that what you're saying? Absolutely. There is no human being on the, on the surface of the earth that is purposeless. No matter yeah. how we view them, yeah. there is a purpose for their lives. And right. we don't always have to know that purpose, but God knows. And they may fulfill that purpose in yes. ways that it's not the regular way that we expect them to fulfill purpose. But everyone has a purpose. And it's important that this movie goes out beyond that one day that we're going to premiere. Amen. And we did this with so many things in mind because we want 
high schools. We want colleges to be able to yes. have this movie in their in their um, their library and be able to watch it with yeah. students. On uh, like September, we're launching the premiere in September because it's Suicide Awareness Month. Yes. So we did so many. We worked so hard to ensure that this movie can be played in schools. Yeah. You know, the language is right. The 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 story or the event that happens in the life of the people is not dated. In the next 10 years, it's still going to be relevant. The next yeah. 20 years, it's still going to be relevant. Right. So it's really, really, it's, it really breaks my heart. Right. It really, really breaks my heart. So that's why you, when you watch this movie, you'll see a lot of spirit in terms of you can tell that it wasn't just a thing that was done because right. I just said, huh, let's make a movie. There's a, the spirit of God is behind this. Yes. And I know because the spirit of God is behind this, that's why it'll change lives. I've seen it from the book, from the song, and I know it's not going to be any different, you know, from the movie as well. We want to bless God for you. Yes. And we're looking forward to being there. If you can make it, not even if, you must be, make it. You have to. To be there at the premiere. It's coming very soon. Get yourself a ticket on staythemovie.com. They can find... Yes, you know. and one of the things, allow me, one of the things yes. that I want to do is for anyone who would get it, you know, they, would, they can have a, a discount yeah. um, for the ticket for anyone who would get it through um, because they watched The World Trumpet yes. um, and at a network. So there will be um, a special discount code that I can send to you yes. and you can put it up there. so that, that There you way, go. Yeah, so, so that way the there is no excuse because I really want everyone to go get their ticket and, and come be part of this and get your tickets early. So that that way you don't go get it and then the tickets are sold out. Get sold out and it's, it's on the floor and all that. No, <laughs> thank you. Thank you for coming. Thank you for what God has called you to do. And we're looking forward to this wonderful season of this movie coming out. Saints, we're blessed of the Lord to come in your home each week again. Today, you had for yourself what the Lord is doing. And so we're looking forward for you to be there. I can't I repeat, 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 repeat. It's a movie about life and the purpose of God in your life. May God bless you. We look forward to seeing you again. Blessings. Welcome to the World Trumpet TV, a world media ministry called to blow the trumpet, to call the unsaved, unreached millions back to God. In a world so broken, so hurting, and so lost, World Trumpet TV is taking the gospel of the kingdom to the nations, redigging the wells of revival and awakenings in North America, South America, Africa, Europe, and Asia, sounding the trumpet for the children of God to arise for a mighty global move of God. World Trumpet TV is at the center of bringing you God events as they happen worldwide global evangelization, and international humanitarian social transformation missions in suffering nations. Together with our friends and partners, we believe this new decade will experience the greatest salvation the world has ever seen. Through our 24-7 inspiration programming via cable networks, satellite, smart TV, smart apps, social media, iPads and iPhones, etc., reaching the entire planet. Join the Trumpet TV family in bringing the lost, hurting millions back to God.